Hi, I'm Mike Barber with Barber & Associates Financial Group, and I want to spend just a few minutes with you sharing a little bit about me, who I am, the experience, the credentials, the career that I've had in financial services. You know, my career started 37 years ago when I was 24 years old. I didn't have a clue what life was about or what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Uh, I was married. I had a, a three-week-old three week son and without a job, and we were drowning without any income. So I was out hitting the streets, interviewing every company, just looking for a paycheck. Uh, I spent one interview with, with a company in financial services. Uh, I listened. I didn't find anything that they had to offer particularly appealing to me, and so I thanked them and, and went home never to think about that again. The next day, however, something happened that changed the course of my life. I got home that afternoon, and there parked in the, the parking lot next to my trailer was somebody's brand new red Cadillac. Now, I didn't know who it was, but the first thought in my mind was, whoever's come to visit me paid more for their car than I have invested in my house. Well, I opened the door, went into the living room, and there seated in the living room was this gentleman that I had interviewed the day before in financial services. He's sitting there holding my three-week-old son. And when he sees me come in, now understand he's kind of an Archie Bunker type guy. He, he literally gets up, he steps over the coffee table, he starts coming at me. I don't know what the heck is going on here. And so I defensively just stuck out my hand to shake his hand. And he took his hands and he just clasped me in my hand and drew me right up in front of him. And he said words that changed the course of my life. This is what he said. He said, young man, I have made a fortune in financial services by knowing how to pick the right people who need to be in this industry and learn what it's all about. And I made a special trip out here today to tell you, you made a serious mistake when you turned me down yesterday. Now, at 24 years old, I'd never had anybody treat me like that when I was looking for a job. So the next week I went to work for this man to find out what this career in financial services was all about. You know, it was hard. I had to go out and knock on a lot of doors and meet a lot of people, and I didn't feel like I knew anything at that point. So who was I to, uh, to help other people? And I did that for about three months, and then I found out that that guaranteed paycheck that he had offered me was going to end, and I wasn't going to have very much of an income. So out of real discouragement, I walked into his office on a Friday afternoon and had just written out a short little uh, two-sentence resignation and handed it to him. I was, I was very ashamed. I was very intimidated. Well, he would have nothing of it. Once again, he stepped up to the plate and he got in my path. And I again remember what he said to me. He said, young man, I hired you to become a career professional here. Now turn around and go back and go back to work. Well, I didn't have any other choice. I decided to do that. But it was that day that was a defining moment in my life where I decided I really do want to make a career of this profession because it is an honorable one. Well, I decided the next step was I need to learn everything that I can learn about financial services. So while I was working, I went back to school. I spent over five years achieving my first designation as a chartered life underwriter. Then I spent another three years learning and getting my designation as a chartered financial consultant. I went back to school for five more years to get a master's degree in financial services. And then today I'm a registered investment advisor, which gives me the ability to help clients no matter what their financial situation. So I became very serious about being the best that I could be in this career. And here I am 37 years later, having helped many, many people in various forms of, of financial uh, preparedness, especially helping people prepare for retirement. So thank you so much for listening to this video. I hope it's been informative and given you a little more of an insight to who I am. The fact that you came to this website and that you're watching this video tells me that you're looking for the right answers, that you're not settling for just what you're hearing or what everybody else is doing. So thank you again, and I hope this information has been uh, valuable to you, and I look forward to talking to you again in the future.